Oh, I mean, like, as far as I'm concerned, I'm just gonna hop on in and hope for the best. It's just a genie, so it's gonna be a little harder in dungeon, but I don't think it'll be devastating. Especially if I do pro begin the fight with proper setup. Something that will become may not have been noticeable. It might not be as noticeable here as it is with some of the other gins, but they specifically tailored all the genies' moves when you fight them in scenarios like this to try to somehow fit the theme of the type of genie they actually are. When we see what Mineral's effect is, you'll see why that is a little hard to actually implement into a battle, while still making it engaging and challenging. But I think we'll we get to have some fun with... I think we'll get to have some fun with this fight, nevertheless. Um, little heal doesn't hurt. I'll get to seep with you, that way I can actually go for my summon next turn. Yeah, why not? No harm... No harm making him more vulnerable, as far as I can tell. No sleep. I don't even recall if this guy can be put to sleep. Eh, it's worth a shot as far as I'm concerned, though. Alright. I didn't realize- I wasn't planning on having all my genies rate to summon at once. But I almost would rather have that- I almost rather do that than just- spread them out, because the sooner I summon, the sooner I can get the Jinny's stats back. Oof. Having Breeze on our side is certainly nice. It's good to be reunited with that one in particular. Looks like I got a little bit of healing duty to do, because it doesn't seem like someone rushing- Uh, never- <laughs> I was just about to say, it doesn't look like someone rushing's gonna get us out of this mess. Well, summon rushing will probably be fixed with version 2. I have some ideas flowing from my mind of how to make summoning a little less broken without completely copy pasting what Reloaded does. Granted, Reloaded. What Reloaded, bleh, what Reloaded does is really cool. And I definitely feel it does fix the problem. I just didn't don't know if I would exactly want to copy it. It's, I don't even think I could copy it even if I wanted to, just because... As I was saying, the stuff Reloaded does is cool, and if I didn't have an idea of my own, I would just do it the same way that... Unle that Reloaded does. But I don't think I can do that without just literally taking the patch for going some reloaded and work off that. And if I do that, I lose the whole quality of life features of avoid and retreat because I'm already working off the patch, a patch that was made by the Golden Sun randomizer to have those features in the first place. Ugh. I forget if I made a monkey run, but it should be fun. I Oh, I completely forgot to showcase Mineral. But yeah, it's kind of funny that I bring up the fact that we are burning for synergy a lot quicker. It's almost like I... It's almost like it was planned. But Mineral is pretty much your go-to way for synergy recovery. Unlike, unlike Smith that we picked up earlier, Smith recovers a more or less fixed amount of synergy. And it's already sold small to begin with. It. Oh, we gotta go over Trial Revive, too. Lots of new stuff happening really quickly. But unlike... Smith covers, like, a base of five synergy points per party member. Can go up more... It can be more or less, depending on the elemental par power of the party member that does it. But it'll never... It'll overall not really 
be beyond 10. Meanwhile, Mineral has a fixed amount of synergy recovery that's already more than Smith, but also copies Ember's synergy effect from Vanilla Golden Sun, so it does a fixed amount. So with Mineral, it does a fixed amount of synergy recovery, and it also does a amount of synergy recovery that's based on your max synergy points. So like, I'll probably have to get another battle to show it, but the later on, t the overall, the later, the later on in the game we get, the more effective Mineral will be at synergy recovery. That's basically the main takeaway you want to get from this. And assuming I don't get my butt handed to me by the monkey, this might be a good time as any to... ...show more exactly Mineral in action. I also forgot the fact that unlike all other Jinnies that recover synergy, you actually get to pick this target that... It's actually, like, gradual, like... You know how against enemies, you select the target that you want the move to be most effective on. Well, you can do that with Mineral, too. So it kind of has niche uses compared to other AoE synergy recovery, because if you got, like, one party member that's really hurting, while the rest of your team is kind of fine on the synergy point department, you can have Mineral focused on them. So we got five and four, so... That is a 9 synergy recovery on Isaac by itself. Gary has 7 and 7, so that's 14. 9 and 8 for Ivan. And Mia was already so close to full synergy recovery that she, she just recovers. <laughs> well, bye, Ape. See, enemies running away isn't so bad when it's not something you're trying to defeat. Like a Ginny. And you, I believe, cover the way to an item. An item that I really want to grab. So we'll go after you first. And Tyro Revive. This is basically replacing Quartz. Since Quartz is no longer Quartz, and is instead Mineral, you basically get Quartz Effect as a synergy now. On top of the fact that we already had items that kind of did do that, Tyro Revive also does that as well. It's basically your budget revive, where like, revive... Normally in Golden Sun you have to have either Isaac with four Ginnies, or one of your other adepts with four Venus Ginnies. And Tyro Revive acts like a budget version where you can get access to it a lot earlier, not only in terms of what level you learned it, learned it at, but also how many genies you need to actually have access to it. At the cost of it being half as effective as a normal revive. So it like takes half the requirements of a normal revive, but is half as likely to work. Which I personally feel is a fair exchange, especially with how likely you'll have your butt handed to you just going into this. Again, I do not feel shy about giving players options to revive in this game. Let's play around with the Ruffian a bit more. Especially because that way I can just have Mia back on healing duty. And I can have I Ivan be our fast healer and Mia be our healer for cleanup duty. Plus, more synergy recovery options are always nice. Anyways, if I recall correctly... This used to give, like, the el elven shirt in Vanilla Golden Sun. Partly because the zoom shoes already do that. Part of it's because I didn't realize, like, how valuable it is until after I made the change. But point being, it's a little different this time. Now we have, now Isaac has a Ginny charm too, and... It's a kind of niche, but you it's a kind of niche ability that this Jenny Charm gives, but considering the way Jenny Charms work, it's still nice to have. It refreshes an ally and restores 60 HP, so it's not effective as a cure. I just realized how convenient of a time it was to get this Jenny Charm, considering this class normally doesn't give us any healing whatsoever, and 
we just got a budget healing move. It's not as a, it's not as strong as cure, and it's more expensive than cure. But it also has the side effect of recovering us from a status element. So like, if we were to get deluded or a death curse gets cast upon us, we can always just go to Garland if for some reason we don't have access to Mia or one of our other party members that just has Restore. And I think like in, in version 2, I, I'm kind of wondering if I'm being too generous with this synergy recovery. So I think like in version 2, like I still want to have early game synergy recovery beyond an item. So I might be- I might change Smith into like a single... To kind of like double- to kind of act more as a single target party member version of Mineral. Instead of having an attack effect, but then I would have to find a way to get attack boots thing on another Jinny. So it's all tentative, I'm just throwing ideas I have in my head. I don't even know what I'm gonna work on really sit down and work on version 2, because if you haven't been following me too closely, I've also made a... I've also been getting into Paper Mario modding, so for the Paper Mario game jam that they had a while back, I made my first ever Paper Mario mod, and a lot of my modding, the time that I put into modding has been, just been spent on building that, building that up, because I kind of felt it kind of got rushed at the end, so I wanted to take some time to clean it up, and as I've been working on it, I got a few other ideas as well. I, I, I said I was going to take that project more casually, because the idea would be that I work on both Golden Sun projects and that Paper Mario project in particular. Okay, no for the books again. This, this particular arrangement of enemies might be too much for the game to handle. Yeah, it looks like everyone's starting to get access to sleep. Just in time, too, in my humble opinion. Alright. You know, I should have probably... If you may notice, I don't have the... Force chart. In between... I may have... In the playthrough I was going through, the Mercury Lighthouse, Recording that and replaying everything I did on stream up to this point, I may have just got lazy and decided to skip actually get, getting the Force Charm to my detriment because, like, yeah, it costs energy because it actually has a battle effect. But as if you may have noticed by the fact that I keep forgetting to even showcase what that battle effect is, it's getting kind of worthless. I might, I might just can. Having Force be a ba battle synergy in version 2 is cool conceptually, but especially with things like Ragnarok, I've no, like haven't really ever really used it. And all it does is just burn my synergy. Um, I'll try to remember to actually showcase in the next battle we get, because surely we're gonna. Oh, we're already at the boss. Well, that's a little sooner than I thought. Wait. I was gonna say, did I really get another one? But no, it's just because we got the Janine charm, so that kind of unequipped the ring. You know what? Ah, for sake of demonstration, I'm sure I can get into one more random battle. And of course, it was against you guys. Though that might be as good a time as any to actually showcase it. Force. Strike through false defenses. So, if you remember the bones from earlier, it's kind of a similar effect. Like, how force works is that it does the, it does base damage. It has no multiplier, it just does the amount of damage that a normal attack would do. Catch being that it's earth, always earth element, so if the enemy is weak to earth, it'll do a little bit more by default. It also copies an effect from one of the genies from Vanilla Golden Sun, where it has a chance of going through like 50% of the defense. Uh, in my opinion, kind of useless ability, but it's something I decided to give the force, to try and make it more useful. If we get lucky, you actually see a little damage variant between how much force does, and that'll better demonstrate exactly how strong force is when it actually does get that defense penetration perk. So let's see. 
Yeah, 79. When I, I believe it did like 92 or something before. So it is something. It's not to be taken for granted. It, it is a bit stronger than your normal attack. I just don't tend to think to use it because usually when I'm going for synergy, I just go straight for like this Astro Blast here or the Volcano or something like that. Maybe I'd be a little more worthwhile if I made it cheaper, but I mean, I. Tree Synergy is kinda cheap. It's a mat, especially compared to everything else in this game. Okay, I guess. And we got Drain right before the boss fight. That's something in of itself. Yeah, the skeletons drop bones. I can resist the joke. Let's see if I can get everyone healed up before the fight proper. And who do I want to use the Hermes Water on? Because I might as well get someone to full synergy before this fight starts. You know, I'm going to go for Garrett. If only because he has side pass. So if any of my other party members really need a synergy, they can just get it from him. So weird to use Garrett like that, but hey. Classes really mean a lot in this game. They, even in the original Golden Sun, like things like Ivan being so frail and full of synergy. Yeah, his base stats kind of already are like that. But even more so, it's his base class really emphasizes that. So if you always use base classes in Golden Sun, of course you're going to assume that Ivan's like as frail as paper, or Garrett is a slow tank with barely any synergy points. But if you get slightly experimental, you kind of start to see that how much the Ginnies actually carry the party member stat. Now, it's to the point where like the Ginnies actually make up the party members more than the party members themselves, which has its pros and its cons, in my opinion. Alright. Uh, enough sidetracking and distractions. 